what is going on guys in this video i'm going to give you the tips on how to get high kills in fortnite so if you're struggling with around seven eight or even three kills this is the video for you so you can get about 10 15 or even 20 kills so subscribe for more amazing tips and tricks videos and if that sounds interesting that's up to the video so guys the first tip i'm going to give you guys is improve on your mechanics w keys basically what i'm trying to say here is i want you guys to go and improve your mechanics most people would really think, oh, uh, I'm just playing Fortnite for about three days and I could get about 20 kills in my, I don't know, my next game. No, it doesn't work that way. What you need to do is basically you need to go, practice your building, editing, aiming, and game sense. And I intentionally put game sense because most people just go into like creative and they build a lot of things, they edit well, they have aim well, and they just go into the game and they just, you know, get clapped on. So. Basically what I'm trying to say is probably use something like, you know, go to creative, get some creative courses. Like I'll leave some creative courses of um, editing and aiming down below. For building, I would suggest you go into free builds and try to build and just keep practicing. Just free build basically. Just improve on your mechanics and you're gonna, I'm going to do a video later about building, free building and I improve mechanics. But just go in creative and improve your building. Then game sense, I would advise you watch pros. Pros like Booga, pros like Mongrel, pros like Bizzle. These guys really improve your mechanics and game sense and your game strategy. How you think. The right time to kill people, the right time to W key, the right time to stay put, the right time to take zone and stuff like that. So another thing I would recommend for you guys is to play Warzone. Warzone really helps and you like most of the pros like um, on the army, Booga, Mongo, Benji Fishy, Digital Play Warzone, and most of them actually improved. Like that's how Booga actually improved in Warzone. Boxfight is another one, that's the one that you recommend mostly because Boxfight is like one of the key things in the game right now and Boxfight matches, like I made a video, my last video, check it out, I made a video on Boxfighting and the Boxfighting courses, so I'm going to leave it down in the description below and Playtime. Playtime basically means you gotta play the game a lot, like you don't just play the game 3 hours in the weekend back to get high kills, no it doesn't work that way, you need to play at least 20 hours a week. So you can just play like three hours a day or something, you know. Just try, play the game more so you can, you know, get used to the mechanics and everything, get used to the controls and everything, how the game works. Next in line is landing at hot drops or mainly the free players on the most popular places. Like the place I really recommend is Salty Springs. I land in Salty Springs every single time and there is no how I would see at least 10 kills there. Like Salty Springs is a place where there's an OG. It's like the only OG spot in chapter two, season two right now, and most people really know it. I wouldn't really recommend the agency because the agency is mostly filled with all this um Midas's and his henchmen, so you don't really get in much kills from that place. So I recommend Salty Springs because people land there. All you have to do is just land on the roof. Yeah, your first weapon on the roof before you know it you just sell on the roof and start killing people all people trying to get loot in the houses start shooting from the windows and stuff trust me you're gonna get a lot of kills probably get some mass there and stuff and i what i mean hard drops i basically mean try to drop in places where i think the map is trying to take from the shark and most of you are going to drop there because they want to get loot fast as soon as possible get all the best um uh, weapons and stuff so you need to drop there because a lot of people are going to be dropping there and that's going to give you a lot of kills. The third I recommend is play aggressive which is basically killing everyone in sight. What I'm saying is you need to become a W King God. Now this basically implies that every single person you see in sight, remember always be wise. Don't just okay I don't have anything I'll have pickaxe you're trying to struggle to kill someone that would just be dumb and you know, make any sense. And the thing is don't waste time. When it comes to playing aggressive, when you're wasting time, most people usually waste time on mass and get weapons. These are times that you're meant to use to get kills, and most of the time, I recommend probably getting around 200 mats, getting the AR, getting the pump, then probably getting, you know, minis or potion. And that's all. Start killing. You don't have time to waste. Another thing is that you need to get weapons in seconds. Don't waste time when you're getting weapons. You need to be as fast as possible. Because the time you're going to be wasting again, mass and weapons. You're meant to be using those times to kill. Another thing I would say when playing aggressive is rotate and chill at the end of the zone. See, when you're waiting at the end of the zone, most people at like the like the second or the third circle, they struggle to come in. And if you just stay there, probably like build, you no, know, 90s, something like that, and stay there and wait. So most players are going to be coming from the storm, so you know they don't die. 
and you're going to be getting a lot of kills because I've gotten a lot of kills from that kind of thing you know just staying and waiting for people to come into the zone kill a lot of people there it's going to be great another thing I would say when playing aggressive is play with strategy and not be foolish that just basically means most people when they want to get high kills they don't like I said you don't just go immediately you land you carry a pickaxe and try to kill someone you don't just walk that way you need to know strategize know okay I need to get 200 mats I need to get AR I need to get pumps I need to get shields I need to get minis strategize everything and know what you're going to do know the right time to W key you don't W key when you see like four people like being aggressive in one spot you know okay I'm going to W key at the middle of them they're going to trash you they're going to clap for you like there's no escaping that so basically you need to play strategize that's why I, I recommend you guys improve your game sense by watching pros like Booga, Bizzle, Mondo, Clips you're gonna really improve you so guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe for more pro fortnite tips and tricks to become a pro fortnite player and comment down below how many kills you get i'm really curious and i really want to know from you guys so i can make more pro and amazing content for you guys and yeah peace out guys